If you guys want some gamer subs, make sure to use code GM for 10% off. And while you're at it, check me out over at twitch.tv slash gminers. Thanks. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Gminers here. In today's video, we are going to be combining Necrotic Grips and the Osteostriga SMG with the new Solar 3.0 subclass. We're going to be spreading Scorch and Poison to every enemy, and you should be able to be Radiant at all times for an extra 25% damage. This build has amazing ad clear and it only requires our primary weapon, so you can even use this in raid settings and in the new dungeon and still manage to put up high DPS with your heavy. Just looking at the base exotics first, with Necrotic Grips, dealing melee damage to an enemy is going to apply poison to them, which obviously deals damage over time. And then if we end up killing the enemy, this poison is then spread in a pretty large radius to all other nearby enemies. Oxyostriga, on the other hand, is going to fire toxic projectiles that track two nearby enemies. This is going to work extremely well when we are in the air because we can just spray and have bullets track. And whenever we get a kill or multiple precision shots, another burst will go off that spreads poison as well. So overall, we can spread poison through our melees and just by using this weapon. And then if you happen to have the catalyst, poison final blows will also give ammo back in the magazine. So with enough adds, we can shoot this thing forever. For my subclass, I am running Daybreak with this build, but if you find yourself going against bosses, I would definitely switch to Well of Radiance. For our main abilities, the only one I really recommend you needing is Incinerator Snap. This does way more damage than Celestial Fire, and it allows you to hit more targets overall, so we can apply more poison. And then I am also on Fireball Grenades. These do have the shortest cooldown, which is going to allow me to use Heat Rises a lot more often, which is going to be our first aspect. With Heat Rises, we can consume our grenade to hover in air while shooting and also using our abilities. Each kill we get is going to extend our timer of Heat Rises, and then most importantly, while we're in the air, we also get a ton of melee energy back per each kill. This synergizes extremely well with one of the fragments we will use. We will be getting kills in air, which then gives us our melee back, and then by using our melee, we not only spread Scorch and Poison to enemies, but we also make ourselves Radiant, so the Poison from our Osteo will end up hitting for 25% more damage. The second aspect we have is Touch of Flame, which just buffs our Fireballs to have increased radius and target count. This is great for when we have max time on Heat Rises and want to start using our grenades for some extra ad clear or some damage. The four fragments we have revolve around keeping us radiant and applying Scorch to enemies. First up is Ember of Searing, which is going to give melee energy back when killing Scorch targets. With Heat Rises, we will now be getting our melee back every one to two kills. Second is the Fragment Ember of Solace. This just increases our Radiant timer duration to a higher base time. Next is Ember of Torches, which will make us and nearby allies Radiant for using our melee ability. This will last 15 seconds on its own, and because we get our melee back so quickly, we can consistently reproc it before we even get down to 5 or 10 seconds left. And then finally, we have Ember of Ashes to increase our burn damage because we will be applying more stacks of Scorch at base. This build revolves around staying in the air, so some of the mods we have are going to be a bit harder to use. On my helmet, I am running high energy fire for some increased damage against bosses and majors that we fight. And then I also have Kinetic Siphon on to make orbs of power with my Osteo. These orbs of power that we generate are going to feed into Taking Charge, which I have on my gauntlets. This will make me charge with light so that I can keep using high energy fire, even if we consume it on kill. And then I also have Impact Induction to get my grenade back quicker as I spam my melee ability. On my chest, I have Elemental Ordinance and two Resistance mods. Elemental Ordinance will let my grenades spawn Elemental Wells that match my subclass. On my boots, Well of Ordinance is going to increase the energy I get back from these Elemental Wells because they are going to be solar, and then I also have on Recuperation and Absolution. Since I am spawning Orbs of Power with my Osteo, I can take advantage of them by getting healing from Recuperation, and then even more energy back to all my abilities through Absolution. And then lastly, on my Bond, I have Melee Wellmaker and Bomber. Melee Wellmaker will just spawn more Elemental Wells so that I can get my grenade back even quicker, and then Bomber will directly give me energy when using my class ability. For my other weapons, I like to combine this build with the Forbearance, which has Chain Reaction and Ambitious Assassin, just for some extra ad clear. And then I also found that a Linear was super good for taking out tanky targets as you're in Heat Rises. I think this build is super fun and honestly top tier for raids and other activities that don't put you under power. 
Osteo and the Incinerator Snap are super good against Overload Champions too. So if you want to see this build adapted for some more solo end game type of content, let me know in the comments below. And also let me know your thoughts on the build and what you might change. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. As always, have a good one. Peace.